Welcome to Dragon Eagle TV Youth Channel. Today we are going to talk about methane and its relation with global warming. For many years, methane was overlooked in the climate change conversation. Methane contributes about 30% of the rise in global temperatures since the Industrial Revolution. The concentration of methane in the atmosphere is currently about two and a half times greater than its pre-industrial levels, and scientists and policymakers are increasingly recognizing that methane reductions are crucial. Methane is the main ingredient in natural gas, with fossil fuel production being a major source of global methane emissions along with agriculture and waste management. The largest anthropogenic source is agriculture, responsible for around one quarter of emissions, closely followed by the energy sector, which includes emissions from coal, oil, natural gas, and biofuels. Annual global methane emissions are around 580 million metric tons. The U.S. oil and gas industry is emitting at least 13 million metric tons of methane a year. Methane also affects air quality, as it can lead to ground-level ozone, a dangerous air pollutant. Methane leaks also pose explosion hazards. Methane has a much shorter atmospheric lifetime than carbon dioxide or CO2, which is around 12 years compared with centuries. However, methane has more than 80 times the warming power of carbon dioxide after it reaches the atmosphere. Even though CO2, carbon dioxide, has a longer-lasting effect, methane sets the pace for warming in the near term. Cutting methane emissions is key to limit short-term warming and improve air quality. Showing today's unprecedented rate of warming can help reduce potential climate risks related to global warming, including crop loss, wildfires, extreme weather, and rising sea levels. Today we have much better data on where the methane is coming from and how to prevent it. Ground-based measurement tools along with growing number of satellites are making it faster and cheaper to locate, measure, and reduce emissions. Using that knowledge and technology, the oil and gas industry can achieve a 75% reduction of methane emissions. In 2023, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency published historic rules to limit methane pollution from oil and gas sources. That same year, China announced a National Methane Action Plan, and the European Union also agreed on first-of-its-kind legislation to rein in dangerous methane emissions. Of course, there's much more that needs to be done, but progress on methane matters to our climate's future. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.